Hey there, everyone. Welcome back. I don't know if you remember the Mexican YouTuber who was arrested on child pornography charges. Well, if you're not familiar, a controversial YouTuber was detained on charges of child pornography in Mexico City after showing video of a sexual assault to her millions of followers. That's right, Yoseline Hoffman, known on the video platform as YouStop, was ordered by a judge to be held without bail on charges she used a video of the 2018 gang rape to shame the victim and spawn an ugly campaign of harassment. Hoffman, who is 30, displayed the footage on a phone during a YouTube video and tried to pin the blame on the victim, the report said. That is just absolutely crazy. Get this. After Hoffman discussed the assault and denaturated Suarez on YouTube, the video began appearing on pornographic websites. Suarez, who needed to receive therapy and effort to overcome the ordeal, claims she has been the target of harassment campaign as the read -off result of Hoffman's video. A lawyer for Suarez said it's clear that Hoffman's actions constitute a crime. The mere fact that she stored or played the content constitutes child pornography offense, and she herself shows the camera the screen screen of her cell phone with the video of the rape on it. That is just absolutely insane. So yeah, the YouTube star addressed the controversy in a message on social media, and they have tried to involve me in an offense that I never committed, she said. But I was fully trust in truth and in common sense, as I have said in many of my videos, allegations should serve as a tool of citizen empowerment. Unfortunately, I find myself involved in an issue that has nothing to do with me, but I hope that everything is cleared up and resolved soon. Hoffman, the only suspect arrested in connection with attack, is facing 14 years in jail if convicted. This is absolutely crazy. So Hoffman who has over 8 million YouTube subscribers told her audience she is not involved in any this is absolutely crazy. Hoffman, who has over 8 million YouTube subscribers, told her audience she is involved in an issue that has nothing to do with her. But yet, the thing is, is that she ended up po posting a YouTube video showing it on her phone to all her followers. So she was arrested and she was facing 14 years in jail. But get this. Mexican YouTuber Yustoff is released from prison after reaching an agreement with the victim who denounced her for child pornography. This is absolutely crazy. It says the Mexican YouTuber Yoseline Hoffman left the Santa Martha prison in Mexico City on Tuesday night after obtaining a three-year conditional suspension of the criminal proceedings against her, reaching a repertory agreement with Ariana S., the victim of the sexual assault, contained in a video that you stop echoed in one of her broadcasts and reported the prosecution. According to the authorities in adherence to the principle of restorative justice, a social representative of the public ministry requested the reclassification of the crime of child pornography, which it was originally charged for discrimination, which allowed the parties involved to establish an agreement and the eventual release of Hoffman. This is just insane and mind-blowing. So she ends up posting this video on her YouTube, showing it. She ends up being charged with this stuff, and because she makes an agreement with the victim, they end up letting her go. It says, as part of the arrangement, the YouTuber promised to deliver an economic repair and various material goods in addition to not contacting and offering a public apology to the victim. In the same way, you will not be able to express yourself in a degrading, insulting, and humiliating way towards any person. You must donate 5% of your income to associations as well as publish a monthly video with content alluding to the training on the subject of victims that you it was in post to receive. Here's a video of her being released from jail. This is just absolutely insane. If this was a guy, they would be in jail for 14 years. No ifs, ands, or buts. It makes absolutely no sense to me. So she was arrested and accused of a crime after she received, stored, and reproduced during a broadcast on YouTube of the group rape of which occurred in 2018 when the victim was only 16 years old. During the episode, the defendant showed the screen of her phone with the images of the abuse uttered serious insults against the victim and accused her of wanting to attract attention. The rest of the influencer came months after Suarez filed a complaint against the four attackers as well against a friend to whom they sent the video and against Yoseline Hoffman. This blows my mind. This girl literally just got away with like a, a serious heinous crime. If this was a guy doing this, all of the YouTube community would be trying to shut her down. If it was a guy, they would be demanding uh, justice that he would be serving the 14 years in jail. They, they, they wouldn't have gotten off on a slap on the wrist. And all she has to do is donate 5% of her income to associations as well as publish a monthly video with content alluding to the training on the subject of victims that you it was imposed to receive. Which is absolutely mind-blowing. So you can literally commit crimes now and get away with it just because you apologize and donate some of your money. 5%? 5% of your money?
I just want to point out that she still has her YouTube channel, You Stop, with over 8 million subscribers. She also has her other YouTube channel called Just Yost with over 5 million subscribers. And the thing is, is they want her to donate 5%. And, like, <laughs> this is absolutely a joke. This girl shouldn't be on YouTube. She used her YouTube to share a graphic video, like an image of what was going on. And this is just absolutely mind blowing. Like, this just doesn't make any sense to me at all. And if you actually check out her YouTube channel, she makes anywhere from $2,000 a month up to $30,000 a year, depending on how she posts and everything like that. And she's only supposed to donate 5% of her income. So in retrospect, she like posts a video, it gets like a bunch of views. Let's say it makes $100, she only has to donate $5 back. No, nah, to me, this is absolutely a joke. She should have her YouTube channels both terminated. She shouldn't be on there. She was arrested. She actually served time behind bars. And just because she's a girl and she apologized and is donating money and made an agreement with the victim, now they let her out and she's no longer being charged. This is just blows my mind, all right? Like, I don't think if, like, anybody else commits a crime and you can make an agreement with the victim, they're just going to let you go. No, like the police and the courts are going to not have it out here in Canada or the U.S. I know it's in a different country, Mexico, but still, they should be held, holding like some sort of like, you know, higher standards of their justice system. And this completely shows that out over there, there, there is no justice system. She literally got away with posting a video on YouTube showing still images of child pornography. And yeah, this is just, just absolutely disgusting and blows my mind. She shouldn't be anywhere on social media. She shouldn't be making money. She shouldn't be uh, on YouTube at all. This is, it just really just hurts my brain. Let's just hypothetically stay. Dra Keemstar from Drama Alert did something like this, but he didn't. Let's just hypothetically like say that he did something like this, or even myself. They, that, 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 that would be the end of them. There would be no coming back, no apologies, no nothing they would just be done for they'd be in jail so yeah i came across this news and it's just absolutely it just hurts my brain it doesn't make any sense at all it just goes to show you again that the rich and famous people as well as youtubers that are rich and famous as long as they're big enough that they can literally almost get away with anything they commit crimes and they end up getting away with it because they're rich and famous and they can apologize or pay the victims off and to me that's just that's that's just like a complete abuse of the justice system and at that point there is no justice system. But anyways, you can either agree or disagree with my opinion. These are just my opinions and this is just what I'm reporting on. Don't shoot the messenger. Yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below. Do you think she should be allowed on YouTube and also do you think she should be released from jail? She literally showed images of what was happening to an underage girl on her youtube channel to millions of people it just doesn't make any sense to me so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you can please like this video share it with your friends and family so they're aware and click that subscribe button for more thanks for watching everyone stay safe god bless you all take care and peace out